Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. It's a little bit damp outside as you might, I don't know whether you can hear it or not on top of the polytunnel, but we're hiding out here on purpose. And I've only just dashed up here to the allotment at lunchtime today. This is Monday when I'm filming this and it's about one o'clock, just after one o'clock. And it's been raining, it's been raining since last night and it's been going and going and going and it's absolutely hammering it down. And for those of you who've seen some of my earlier videos around about November sort of time last year, we had some issues with flooding all the way across the plot. So I'm a little bit paranoid about it and I was a bit worried. And let me spin you around here. We'll see if we can see it from a distance because I'm hiding out in the polytunnel at the minute because it's raining and if I go outside, it's just going to get rain all over the lens. So I don't think you can see it. Let me point my finger down. So over here, just in front of these trees, the water is starting to pool. You might just be able to see it there. So what I've noticed is that round this, see this big tree over here, round this big tree down here, there's a bit of a hill comes down here. All the water is running down there and it's starting to pool over here. So there must be a big dip over there where it pools. And then you can see it's okay there, don't mind it there, it's fine. But it'll slowly, if it keeps going, if it keeps raining like this, my forecast to have this rain for about 10 days, if it keeps coming this way, it's going to eventually end up all of my plot. That, to be honest, I don't really want that again. So I've got a little bit of a plan. In this plan, it's going to treat the symptom, it's not going to treat the cause. The cause needs to be treated another time, but let me spin you around quickly again. So we've got this. This was a, this was going to be a project for later in the year. So this is for me to hook up to the water butt to bring water down here to the polytunnel to use a hose inside here. And this is a Bosch water pump. There it is there, so that end sits in the water. A hose pipe on the end there, which I'll hook up to this, which is a, I think it's either 10 or 20 meter long, I can't remember which, hook up to this and it's powered by battery, which is brilliant. And we can charge up at home, bring it back along here when I need to use it. So my plan is to pop the pump in that big pool of water out there, pump as much of it away as I can at the moment and come back tomorrow and check on it again to see how it's doing. If I can just get rid of the worst of it for now to see how it's going and we'll see, but we'll do. I'll get set up, I'll see if I can get any filming done, like I say, it might be a bit dodgy out there, raining on the lens and stuff like that. I'll see what I can sort of cobble together to kind of try and protect it from the rain. But we'll see how we get on. But I'll be back with you in just a jiffy. And I'm back. And a little bit damper than I was before, but not, not to worry. It's been pumping behind me, I reckon, for around about 45 minutes or so. And that's the battery just run out. So let's, let's have a look. And I'm going to hopefully keep the, the lens pointing down here. So we'll see. It's... It's, I think it's made a difference. It's difficult to tell when I'm here. Maybe it's when I get home and I have a look at the footage and edit and, and we'll, we'll see how it looks uh, versus each other to see if it's gone down much. But you see the pump still submerged over there. This bit here is what I was concerned about. So let me move back a little bit. So you can see here where sort of the water's broken through and it started making its way this way. I was watching this. It's, it's not showing it so much now because the pump's off, but there was little bits of grass floating this way, which I saw as a good sign, is that this side, the depth must be dropping for the water to be moving out of here and going that way. Whether that little pump's had enough oomph in it to certainly make much of a difference, whether we're going to survive overnight, because it is still raining, and it's going to be raining, but what I'll have to do, I'll have to get it packed up, We'll take it home, we'll get the battery charged back up overnight and I'll come back up here tomorrow and we'll have a check to see how it's looking. If it has done enough just to stop the water from getting into my plot, that's all I needed to do. It can be the little pump that could, that can be its nickname. And the horse pipe, you can see it down here. I keep moving it around so I didn't want the water from here all going in the same area. So you can see I've got the horse pipe trailing all the way up over here and all the way up over there so the water sort of spread out all the way over this sort of berm kind of thing that's here into the trees over that side which hopefully it'll stop it from sort of seeping back in this way as well anyway that's me done for today i am going home to very much get dry and have a cup of tea just a quick one to show you what I'm up to and we'll be back here tomorrow. I'll pop some updates on. Maybe it's not a video, I might just do a sort of community update. And over on Instagram as well, so at Mark Slotman Plot, I'll pop some pictures up on there so you can see how it's getting on. Anyway, that's me done for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Bye for now, folks.